Rick put an acorn ridge this morning here in Iowa for the opening day of this is what the third season in it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was uh, pretty slow this morning. Slowest I've ever, ever, ever heard it. We didn't hear any gobblers right at daylight. And it wasn't until basically I think they were on the ground for they actually heard a couple gobbles. We heard three or four different gobbles, way distant, distant gobbles. And we started making a little racket and acting a little froggy up here right on the, what's this called here, Acorn Ridge? Mm -hmm. And directed by my infamous spot I would like, a little Texas shooting house up there. And uh, our setup was multiple hens on the right and a, multiple hens and a gobbler on the left. And we did a little, <coughs> I did a little more soft calling and had a gobbler come in down below us and you could tell he was a, he was a chicken shit. He wasn't going to commit. He was just, he was, he was just doing what gobblers do. And then we had the one that was behind us that he hammered. He knew, we knew he was coming. This, the first one, he actually came in silent, never heard him at all. He never, never, has never gobbled at all. Yeah. Come on, never. <coughs> and, uh, and we had a hen pop out. We coaxed the original first hen up the hill, and then a second one come out. She took, pretty much took the attention of the gobbler that was the first one to pop out. And then, lo and behold, the second one that was behind us, which we knew he was there, he popped out. And he committed. Yep. Mm -hmm. We uh we got fortunate uh my hangover got better right when the gobblers came in. Yeah, so. Well, you know, you'll have that. That's usually an <laughs> Iowa epidemic, you know, it doesn't take a doesn't take a doctor to figure out the, the how that works, does it? No. No. But I think uh I've been hunting with Matt now for I don't know how many years you think? Bunch. Eight. Yeah. Eight years. And uh, this is the first time that uh, I had a turkey on us full strut within about 15 yards that he wasn't like, oh, there's a bird, there's a bird, there's a bird. No, no gun in his hand, not shooting that bird. And I'm thinking, I've actually never shot the first turkey hunting with Matt on any of my farms. I'm thinking, <laughs> so I'm thinking, thinking I'm, I'm going to shoot that bird. And he's following with his camera, so I grab my gun and. And uh, we were fortunate that hen, uh, she came up here to check out our uh, our setup, and and she was uh, she lured him in. There been hen up. She, she was real relaxed too. She just yeah. So uh, once uh, she kind of moved off, he then was committed to our our decoys, and so uh, that's the rest of the story. Ten yard shot and. You ain't, you ain't gonna elaborate on shooting my hen decoy, you know? After I I, I, I think I, you can hear me. Verbally say, don't shoot my decoy. Well, I, was, I sat up here a year ago, and I'd, I'd never witnessed what a shot decoy looked like before. But <laughs> you demonstrated that to me, and I'm, yeah. I'm, we're going to have to go review the slow mo footage. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that that bird I, I down there, oh, he pummeled his head. That his head is it. completely destroyed. <laughs> there was a three and a half inch load that basically slugged him. It was annihilation. He didn't even he didn't even flop. No. no so flop. it's been uh, it's been good. Uh, my brother's coming in, and we got 600 acres to play. And Matt's got a couple more days, and Kurt will be here. And ain't getting in no big hurry. Well, uh, we just enjoy every bit of it, suck it, soak it in. We kept after it. It's 8:30. We finally got it done. It was a long, long hunt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. I'm blessed to have this place. Yes, you are. All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to just hang around here for a little while longer and just see if I can strike up any more activity. And we'll get back with you here for too long with some more live action footage from OCD land here on Acorn Ridge in the south central part of Iowa. I mean, every once in a while we get lucky and we actually find something around here. <laughs> uh, they have, uh, they're known to have some whitetails around here too. Yeah, we, I, I actually seen a piebald deer this morning. Rick didn't see because he was laying down taking a nap. But I was checking to make sure the tent was spiked in okay. Yeah, it was doing great. And he, he actually, 
I liked his uh, blanket he brought, which was, um, that is what, show me that blanket you had there that he was covering up with. Yeah, that's real quality blanket material. <coughs> it probably had a lot of insulation value in it. Yeah. I, I started feeling sorry I was going to take my jacket off and give you, <laughs> give you mine, but. I was not feeling well this morning. But that seems to happen when Matt and Scott comes to town. Yeah, I didn't make you drink anything. I didn't. Just doing that all on your own. <laughs> I, I tried to curtail your your overzealous alcoholic consumption. I was um, just excited. Uh, no, it's all good. Lots of good things to be looking at, showing, right. catching up on all the missed 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 time. <clears throat> we'll be back. Say it.